Hey guys, so just got to the studio and today I'm gonna to show you how I made my brand new bootleg count on you. Let's do this. All right, I got the session open to count on you. Uh, just going through the stems and I'll show you how to play the parts as well um, But I'm just gonna go through and show you what I've done to all the things. So first and foremost the vocals By Autoerotic who's done this version um, I like in all my bootlegs actually I like to just put the vocal in start to finish Not mess with it too much and how I create it is I put it on loop and then I go into clip session mode in Ableton and I just loop ideas until I've got a lot cool idea going and then I take it to session arrange view and try and make sense of it so as you can see here I'm just gonna use this GoPro um, here is the vocal that came in four stems the main vocal and then like BV's vintage v reverb stem so it's all in one group here called box and all I've got is a little EQ on it but the main thing I've got on here is the, Na is the Ableton Super Looper so it creates quite cool things if you check this out here. And, uh, got a cool automated loop thing going on. So I really like that effect. And then the first thing we hear is the roads. And as you can see here, you know, I've just looped. I played it, played it a couple times, looped the best bit. I will play you that in a second, show you how to play it. But on that, it went through a bunch of pedals through the roads because on here, all I've got is a bit of EQ and then I'll automate the side chain on, as you can hear here. Just to give us some rhythmic things going on. Um, and then on the same roads, like I've got a little melody going on here. Played that a bunch of times, looped the best one. And on top of that, there's a guitar a melody. Again, played a bunch of ideas in the other room and then just looped the best bit. And then the clap. And I've, I've, I've put that in time there. Played a shitload of that. I really like that line. The strings here. That is on this bad boy. The Phantom. Wow. The Phantom, Roland Phantom, the new one. I think there's some string presets on here. Nice. Um. So on top of that, what else we got? EP30, that's my um, some big chords there, that's really nice. That is going through Valhalla Vintage Verb, a C6 multiband, and some compressors and stuff. That is this bad boy here. Patch the EP30 in. Woo! Don't do this at home, kids, when you hear that buzzing sound. On. And then you put that through some verb and it sounds dope. That buzzing is so annoying. Shh. Oh my god. Shh. Alright, tops. So the all these all these guys. These are actually all out of the Akai Force and the kick. It's just filtered it sometimes. I've got the low end taken off, and then obviously when I want it banging. Put that shit back in, son! Jeez! Alright. TR8. So we've got some TR8 jam in here. I've got it all synced up. Through here, if I turn it on. It all runs through here, as you can see. TR8. Can you turn on the tall one? There we go. And then we've got some perk. Me jamming some cowbell. So here I've got Max for Live Convolution Reverb. I've automated. You see that? 
played shitloads of cowbell, then automated it so it's really dry, and then added some verb to kind of wetten it up. And then I believe here we've got some bongo bongos. This is probably my favorite bit here. Who doesn't want a bongo guy going mental in a song? I know I do. We've got some ride jam in here. And he's really EQ'd. Alright, now we've got the live drums. It's quite interesting what I've done here. Yeah. So I've actually automated these channels to be off. The only thing you're hearing is the overhead and the room. But on the drum fills, I've got them coming up. Ready? Because there's also the electronic drums going on as well. So I wanted them to be prominent. And then as you can see here, on the second half, I've got the hi-hat. So he's also made it up. Just to add a bit more... ...groove. And obviously my favourite bit is the bit where I just smash the crash cymbal. And on the live drum group, I've just got the Ableton drum bus and some drum bus and mud control and magic. Who doesn't want mud control and magic? One of my favorite parts is the synth that comes in halfway through this guy. So that was bit of repatching so let me show you what I did here so it was this bad boy the Delta so I got to patch the Delta in Delta taxis so Delta into MX1 so I'm gonna root I'm gonna root this guy into this channel and then I got to root from the MX1 into the Mo my Mo2. Not Mo2. UAD. That's a lot of hiss coming from that. Jesus. So, here, if I take all this off, I think I added a bit of octave and then a bit of white noise. And then, as that's running through here, then I've got a side chain if I select this. So if I play any section so the MIDI clock is running. Put a bit of a click on. And then if I put the effects on now, check it out. I can't hold the same, I can't hold it. I can't hold it while I'm doing it, so I'm just gonna have to be from here. All right, so check it out. I also did a roll here, so just on 11 and 12, I believe. Just turn that up, so it goes. So when you play it, I like this thing, the MX1. Okay, also got some Jupiter. Jupiter XM. So I sent MIDI to that. I've got a little bit of auto filter on it. But it's mainly me affecting these. I think it's on this patch. Wow. So I believe it was on a patch I made called Daz Jam Back. And you know, if you just, uh, if you put the hold on and the arpeggio and play. Magic on that. And we've also got the guitar here, which I got filtering up. 
And that, I believe I just played that in because I wanted the option, wanted the option to have, to change the amp. So I played it in clean. This is it with no effects on. And then I got the UAD 610, adding some warmth. And we got UAD compressor 1176 compressor and then I got the Helix Native which I just love. It's got the US dub, double norm bleh, I don't know what amp that is but it's a beautiful amp. And then we got the Trinity Chorus to add a bit of widening and it's just a bit pan to the right and then it sounded funky. Uh, the bass here hey. I got a gate, some Arvox and a bit of compression, and then a bit of crazy ass EQ, and then a bit of filter, which which uh, you can see here is automate throughout. So if I show you the filter automation there, so just to take out some low end on the drops. Oh, it's building, it's building, it's going, it's going, let's go. But that gate's really making it tight there. You can hear it's great. Funky. Oh, this was an absolute a accident. This was meant to be the mini go MIDI being sent to being sent that, but I sent it to a piano instead, and it made. I thought it sounded bloody lovely. It's being sent to Valhalla with the with the Nordic gods, and then we got an upright piano here with me jamming. Which is actually the piano in the other room, which I'll show you in a sec. EQ, Abbey Road booster, the EQ there, and then a bit of compression. Nice. And then, you know, I think you put all that together and it sounds like this. All right, um, I'm gonna play the parts. Bye. All right, so the guitar part is on the seventh fret. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, the chord is actually C major, but we're gonna be playing an E minor uh, to make like the major seven. I'm gonna be lifting up our little finger, so it's. Don't hit the pickup. Easy. All right, for the bass, I'm, I'm, I'm just plugging straight in, going into my UAD, I think maybe going through a UA610B and boosting a little bass, low end. Uh, but the part, you're gonna rely a lot on open strings. All right, it's in C, so octave. Place the beat, shall we? One, two, three. Hey. So we're in the other room now. I've got my external monitor, which has a DI box, which my Rhodes is running into, which is going through to the keyboard channel. It's going through here, up into this phaser pedal, the super phaser. There are the settings. Wow, look at that dust. <sighs> Jesus. Running into my little mixing desk, which is coming back out into there. So, the actual part itself, it's in C major, so you got C, C, E, G, C in the bass, and that moves down the semitone to B, and G major, first inversion. So. And then to C9 with the ninth in the bass, with the second in the bass, with the D in the bass. And then, Sharpen the D to D sharp, flatten the B to the, and you got like a E flat augmented or a G augmented. 
That's that. So the other part is the drum part, which I'm pretty sure is just like. And then obviously my favourite bit, which is just. So loud. There you have it. Oh, the piano line. I've got my piano mic'd on the right. On the left there, so it's just stereo mic going into the UAD again. So the piano is just full of chords, like quite similar to the Rhodes, but it's just. So there it is. There are all the parts and what I did to create the brand new bootleg Count on You Auto Erotic younger bootleg go and check it out let me know what you think bye